Hi, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And today we are talk about the ransomware. Yes, ransomware. The reason I want to talk about this subject because my computer, my NAS, got hacked. So one day I go into the office and I check all my files, and they put the extension dot encrypt behind the file. So, so in that time I just wondering, say, what is that? So I check all my files, probably like 95% or 98% the files got hacked, get locked down, and change the extension to the dot encrypted. The reason I made this video, if you decide to abandon your old files, you don't need to spend any time to watch my video because I don't think that's helpful. But if you want to go through all the trouble and pay the ransom off, you might consider to watch this video because I almost doing the like step by step and show you guys how I pay off and retrieve my data. Okay, so let's go watch a video. If you see all your files, the extension got changed. They put the encrypt behind the light, behind the JPEG, behind the DOC or behind the DOCX. That means your computer got the ransom. You can find this file, readme for decrypt txtt, in all your folders. That means if they put this file in, your entire folder got ransomed. This file extension is txtt. You can rename the txtt to the txt. It's easier to open it. Otherwise, when I'm the Mac user, when I open the txtt, they prompt the arrow. You can just rename it. After you open the, this txt file, you can see the instruction. The first thing you have to download the tro browser. You don't need to worry about too much uh, download the TRO browser. If you copy and paste the link to the regular browser, they won't open anything. I tried this. You have to download the TRO browser. You download it, you copy and paste the link into the TRO browser. They're going to tell you how much is that. Here is my setup. I have an office NAS and the offsite NAS. The offsite NAS, the primary doing the the file backup only. When I see my daily use, the file got ransomed. I remove into the offsite NAS and the both two got the ransom, get locked. Us. That means I don't have good enough the security to prevent or protect me. When I got the ransom, probably the entire flow in my mind, see, should I pay off? Okay, here's the step. Download the TRO browser first and get the ransom information. So that's why I mentioned it. You copy and paste information into the TRO browser. They asked me to pay for 0 0.05 Bitcoin. I did some research earlier stage. They asked for 0 0.03 Bitcoin. Uh, probably the Bitcoin the value drop in this couple of months. So they increased the ransom fees. After you got the ransom information, you have to evaluate the action. You want to save your file or you want to just dump it. Here is the one concern, okay, the time limit. That's why I read from the internet. Some computers, they have a timer countdown. They ask you, you know, pay off your ransom in how many hours. That's the scenario one. And the scenario two is they don't tell you the time frame. So if you're doing too slow, after you pay off, you still cannot get the key from the hacker. Another concern is I don't have a con to trading the Bitcoin. Okay, in my situation, in Taiwan take a, almost a week to open a trading account. If you are going to pay off the ransom, you have to evaluate the time frame, the windows, how soon you can pay them off. If you know like one day, two days, that'd be great. But if you know like seven days, or even longer, I recommend you to evaluate again. After I study, I realized in Taiwan, they take a week. So I think, okay, open the account to trading is not an option. So that's my another thought. Find third party to help you to pay the ransom. By Google around, I see the commercial service. They charge me approximately like 10 to 15% more. But in the meantime, I asked around my friend who have a Bitcoin account already. So I asked them and say, okay, help me to pay off and I pay them back. Luckily, my friend willing to do that for me because the money get out from his pocket first and I pay him back later. You know, that's a trust. 
I have another concern is after you pay off, they are unable to recover the file. Because you know, when I got the ransom, I Google it from the internet. That's a lot of people said, even you pay off the ransom, you cannot get your file back. So that's a concern. Of course, you have to make your own decision that you're willing to take the chance. Now for me, I decide to pay them off because uh, for me, I think they have a really valuable data. I still need to use it. So I decide to pay them off. After you pay the ransom off, you can use the same URL through the TOC browser to check out the status. So we can see down here, the web page. The page, the change from the SU money has been paid off. You can download the decryption, the key. So after you download it, you can decrypt the file. Now here is a little chart I show you guys. That's my flow, my saw. After I got the key for the NAS tool, I mentioned that I have a tool NAS get ransomed. One primary doing the backup purpose only. I'm not going to pay the ransom off for the NAS and barely to using. So I pay off for the primary NAS. Here is my logic, because if I pay off, I still cannot get the key back. No, everything I done, just waste my time. I made sure I got the key first. So I got the key, I copy entire data to the additional hard drive. So I decide to decrypt all the file from another hard drive first. After I decrypt the data, I validate the data. And the same time, I got the support from the QNet, make sure the hacker cannot get into my NAS again. Well, at least the QNet support doing the validation. And they told me, say, you know, it's safe for this moment. But I try to restore the data. You see, I used, I try. And uh, because I found the issue, start to manually fix the issue. Okay, the issue I got is uh, after I decrypt the data. And then they have a duplicate file. For example, you know, like the, they put a standard file, you know, like the house.jpg. And then they put a house.jpg and uh, they have another code behind that I will show you guys. So actually the house.jpg is not useful. Now I have to do in the house.jpg and the coding, remove that code to the house.jpg. And that file is useful. If you ran into the problem, don't give up and study the file structure again. That's really important. But my problem is I spend days and days. They're almost like going to the infinity loop. It's too hard to rename all the files. So there's a friend's for it. So I start to seeking the help from the friend again. My friend can write a program to rename the file. That's why I asked them. Doing the automatic, find the where extension. If they find it, delete and then rename the file, the file will be okay to use. That's the entire the program's idea, what they do. Find the where extension file and the delete the duplicate file. And after delete it, rename it so they won't be duplicate. They, don't, they won't prompt you the error. And here is uh, my friends recommend to me say they don't want to doing the rename process on that drive on my first drive. He asked me to get another drive, copy the all the data from the drive one to drive two. Remember, I say copy, not move. He can doing the rename the processing on my drive two. Yeah, so I fixed the issue and rename the file on my drive two. After that, I restore the file and clean out the messes and copy the drive two back to the drive one so I have a two clean copies offline backup from now on. That's my entire processing in this moment. Hi, we're back again after like six minutes video. Hope I got enough information for you guys. That's why I read from the internet. Uh, most big manufacturing company doing the NAS, they get they got all hacked. It didn't matter which company you are using, and uh, probably probably most company they all have the same problem. And people put the ransomware in the NAS machine. Of course, there's a pain. Actually, I pay off the ransom, and I got the key, and I I unlock the file. But entire process take me almost like uh, three to four weeks. So that's a time consume. Like. Why I mentioned that my structure, I have an offsite NAS and they both NAS get hacked. 
So that's unfortunate to me. On the earlier time, I think, you know, I, my data is secure enough, but actually it's not. And the hacker showed me proof that I don't have the cold copy offside. So that's why I recommend to people, you know, keep another copy on the network. You know, like if you can save on the hard drive, and after you back up the file, disconnect the hard drive and just put on the side. It will help you. Okay, if you have any questions, just let me know. And uh, you can leave a message or show me an email. Oh, by the way, I asked my friend to develop the software to rename the file. If you need it, PayPal me, donate me please, and I will send you the file. I cannot guarantee to everyone if you pay off the ransom, you can get your file back because I'm not a hacker. I just share with you guys, that's my experience. And I mentioned earlier the file, they have a certain way to doing the renaming. They might work, but still it's not guaranteed. Okay, if you have questions, let me know. Bye.